is Jeremiah 29 verse 13. When you search for me, you will find me if you seek me with all your heart. Let's do it one more time, guys. Jeremiah 29 verse 13. When you search for me, you will find me if you seek me with all your heart. Bye, guys. Hello, welcome to my farm. I planted some seeds the other day. Let's go check on how it's growing. Come on, follow me. Oh no, what happened to your plant? I thought you were gonna grow a really big one, but that one looks small and dry. Oh dear, oh dear. You must have planted it in a place with too many rocks and not enough soil. So it grew quickly at first, but then when the sun came out, it destroyed. Destroyed? How come? Well, for plants to grow full and really tall, they need strong roots that go deep into the ground. But because there was not much soil and it wasn't ready, they weren't able to grow up. That's so sad, but we learned about seeds last week in Kids Church too. Remember? They fell on the path. Oh, I remember. The story was about seeds that fell on a path and so couldn't grow. It's like those who hear the word, but don't listen and put it into their hearts. But what does it mean for seeds failing to grow on rocky soils? Hmm, I'm not sure, but maybe we can ask our kids church teacher later when we see them. That sounds like a fantastic idea, but first let's go praise and worship.
for tuning in to this week's Kids Church. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and see you next week. One day, a farmer went out to sow some seeds. As he walked along, he threw the seeds wherever he went. Each seed was the same, bright and green and full of the potential for life. Some of the seeds fell on stony ground. There was nowhere for their roots to grow. They just sat there. Birds spotted the seeds from the air. They flew down and ate them up. Some seeds fell on rocky places where there wasn't much soil. They quickly grew at first, but the soil was shallow. And when the sun came up, they withered and died because they had no root. Some other seeds fell among thorns. The seeds started to grow, but the thorns grew bigger and they choked the new plants, so they didn't produce any crop. They just disappeared. But other seeds fell on good soil. They grew and grew, strong and bright, and the life in the seeds bore an amazing crop, some with 30 grains, some 60, and some even 100 grains of corn. Hi kids, welcome back to Kids Church. Today we're going to be doing an art and craft called the seeds planted in the rocky ground. And this is um, the craft. It has a flower that is wilt wilting and flapping and dying. And here's the sun. And here's the little seeds and the little stone. So if you're ready, let's get started. Firstly, you'll need a pair of glue sticks, some scissors, a grey lead pencil, some sticky tape, 
two icy pole sticks, one yellow piece of paper, some tissue paper, and a brown piece of paper, one clear cup, and some clean washed stones. First, you have to draw a big circle on a yellow piece of paper and a small circle next to it. But make sure it's not too close. Then, when you're done, start cutting your two circles out. When you're done, you take your icy pole stick and sticky tape the and sticky tape the icy pole stick to the to the big circle. Then grab your yellow piece of paper again and start cutting at a few strips of lines like this. When you're done, grab your, grab your strips and take your glue and glue them to the edges of your big circle. Then when you're done with your sun, you grab your little circle and a one more icy pole stick and sticky tape that to the little circle. And when you're done, you grab your tissue paper and start cutting it into little strips like the sun. After you cut it, your pink strips of tissue paper, put it on the back of your of your big circle and the front. Next is after you made your you made your flower, just start flapping it down so it looks like it's dying. After you have your flower that is falling down and about to get dead, take your cup and some of your washed stones, make sure they're washed, and put them inside the cup. Then you take your little brown paper Folding it and start ripping some off and um, tear and scrunching up them into little pieces that look like seeds. After we got some of your seeds, start putting them inside your little cup. Hope you like today's art and craft and if you do hit that subscribe button ring the bell and like our videos and god bless you bye